apologize. What a nice day, huh? The, the yeah. little cooler. Yesterday was kind of hot, you know, and uh, hear the waterfalls, I guess. And uh, man, it's like I want to just go out and take a nap, listen to the soundscapes. All right. Not too much caffeine. Uh, too high. Hey, I tell you what, I uh, I got buried on my on my on my uh, Twitter because you know I, last night I had a lot of sour, I uh, uh, I guess uh, sour cream, whatever those potato chips, and then a bunch of uh, Pepsi's, and I tweeted that out and I got buried. So this morning, I changed. I had watermelon, <laughs> cantaloupe. I had some eggs. And then I chugged two cold Pepsis. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying, that people were busting you? Oh, uh, yeah, the, the it's diet? not, yeah, because kids and everything, I feel bad for the kids. Uh, but you know what, I gotta have my Pepsis, I'll tell you, that's just gonna be it. So I'll, I'll try to get a little water in there with a little cantaloupe or something. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be careful on your Pepsi intake in the high altitude, right? Oh, uh, I guess, yeah. Well, I shoot, I was at Colorado for years, drank a lot of Pepsi, so, you know, I survived it, so, you know, I'm all right. What does your defense have to do to get ready for that quarterback for Wyoming? Yeah, he's, uh, uh, boy, I don't know. You know, in all the years I've been coaching, uh, I don't know if I've seen a quarterback this good. And, uh, you know, I know Coach said, oh, Coach said, it, and it's real. He makes all the throws. He's strong. He, he uh, can move. Uh, he, he, he does a good job with the offense. He knows he's just, he's just so talented. And, uh, and he's got such a good surrounding cast. So, uh, I don't know. We're trying to figure that out right now. <laughs> He's had Jim, if you've seen him, like Iowa sold him a little bit last year when he played in Nebraska. He's had some throws. Have you seen kind of some differences when you see him against maybe some faster teams and against some of the teams they regularly play? Well, I, I wouldn't say faster teams or anything like that. You know, Iowa had all summer to prepare for him and had quite a bit of time, and, uh, and they played very really sound. And if you watch the game, the game was the score is not indicative of the game. Uh, you know, that game really should come down probably last play in Iowa City, you know, so. It's uh, it's gonna be a challenge. It'll be a real challenge. Coach, what has Lamar done during that starting spot this week? Well, I don't. You know, we we have different personnel groups, so I don't know if Lamar's gonna start on one group or not. You know, it just depends who we go out there. But Lamar's, you know, he's worked very very hard. He's a, man, it means a lot to him. He plays hard, and he's getting better all the time. You know, so uh, in one of our personnel groups, he gets out there. Yeah. Coach, yeah. will all that altitude and Laramie affect your rotation at all? Trying to get more guys in, or uh, is that something that's not going to uh, affect that? The guy gets tired and he can't go full speed. He comes out. You know, whether you're playing in 100 degree weather or you're uh, wherever it is, if you, if you can't go uh, full speed and you come out, if you, if you can, then you play. It, whether you're high altitude or not, or wherever you are, that's just how we do it. Your guys say you give really good pregame speeches. What do you what do you tell the defense prior to games to get them fired up? Go to work. I don't talk much. I don't know why. I don't know if they're saying that. I, I just say go to work and let's go. That's it. You know, I don't. I don't. I'm not a big talker. I don't really buy into all that kind of stuff. And I don't think coaches get players ready. I think players get players ready. You know. And uh, so I don't know about all that stuff. I'm not. I'm not a good speaker. I never thought I was. Anything improvements else? Improvements from game one to game two. Um, pretty. A, a lot of improvement from game one to game two? Well, and different things, yes, different things, no. You know, we, we're, it's a process, you know, and uh, you guys, as long as they keep playing hard and and tackle, you know, we got to tackle better, uh, then we'll have a chance, you know. But, uh, you know, they're, they're trying. They're, 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 they're trying, trying to get better. Have you been surprised at all what you've seen from Thomas Graham in his first two games? No, not really. You know, he's, he's really, you know, he's, he competes in practice, and, you know, he's got a lot of God-given talent, and, you know, so he just – Goes out there and enjoys the game, so you know, not not really. He's done some good things. First two quarterbacks have gone on him a lot. He's one of the younger guys in that division. Second, do you expect the same thing with Josh Allen? Have you talked to him about that? Uh, no, not really. I think we got we might have freshmen on both sides and in the middle, so <laughs> they can take their pick and what freshmen they want to go after. You know, so not really. How confident are you as the defensive coordinator? Uh, knowing that the quarterbacks could be going at him as the freshman. Uh, you know, I don't worry about things. You know, I really don't. I just go out there and I, you know, we play. You know, I don't worry about anything other than one snap and keep moving. And you know, he'll 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 compete his butt off. He'll make some plays on him and he'll make some plays too. Jim, depth will be important this weekend, especially in that altitude. What's an update on Scott? Do you have any update? Will he play? I uh, I uh, well, right now we're getting him ready. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll find out today yeah. <laughs> where he's going to practice a little bit today, and we'll see. You know, not 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 sure yet, but you know, we're we're trying to get him ready. From your eyes, though, does he look 100%? Like he looked 100% about two months ago to me, <laughs> so I'm all fine.